Always oh, here. Yeah, he's always here. He's Aaron Douglas. What's up with you guys awesome. wearing the same thing? I like your attire. It's basically like Rush's attire, only less good. It's basically like Armani's attire, <laughs> which is basically like the ref's attire. <laughs> Haters, man. Hater, haters showed up to the 116 show. <laughs> haters are always here. <laughs> There's those diabolical haters. All right. Who's uh, great? Aaron Douglas. Aaron Douglas versus Ace Armani. Uh, this is a rematch from the 115 show just last week, uh, where Aaron, Ace Armani uh, won in the Supreme Invitational Finals to become the fourth ever Supreme Invitational winner. It was a great match. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> previous winners include uh, Brian Olin, Anarchy, and Bixie. So we've had all. Yes, he won in 2011. So we've had all kinds of people win. We've had a black guy win, we've had a Puerto Rican guy win, a white guy win, a Hawaiian win. So it's the most diverse tournament in history. Hmm. Uh, it's the most diverse tournament on the internet. <laughs> Uh, we're on the way to the ninth anniversary. The road to the ninth anniversary has begun. Uh, we're gonna have some big matches. As you can tell from the name of the show, it is our ninth anniversary. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Armani reversing. You gotta love them sleeper holds. So Armani does have a so fluid. guaranteed uh, matchup against the Supreme Champion, Adrian, who will be in the main event tonight in a Champions versus Champions match against The Bouncer, who successfully defended the title against me last show. And won at a six-pack challenge at show 114, and arguably one of the best six-pack challenges of all time. Uh, probably not better than the 09 one, which many regard as the best match in WNO history, but the fact that it's almost kind of close is not bad. Nice DDT by Armani, just a two count. Armani's trying to play on the dumbass tree. Armani has been here over two years. He had a great run as hybrid champion last year, and uh, he's definitely had some big matches to his name uh, that he's won and lost, but still very impressive. He had a great trilogy matches with the bouncer, uh, false count anywhere matches, all three false count anywhere, great. Uh, on the same card as the Hunter Show with you and uh, Dawson the Iron Man. Indeed, it was a great match. Definitely, uh, going through the crowd and stuff. Uh, one of the better hardcore type matches we've had in WWE history by far. Possibly of all time. Very possible. WWE getting very popular on the YouTubes with a new Inside WWE show. Stay tuned for more episodes of that. Uh, we, we, like I said, we got some big matches on the way to the ninth anniversary, and there will be some big matches at the ninth anniversary. All titles will be on the line, of course. Uh, here comes our, uh, Aaron with the helo on Armani, and he hits it. Aaron playing up to the crowd. The crowd's starting to really take to Aaron ever since uh, the resurgence. Myself and my former group kicked him out. I mean, everyone, big suplex. Everyone loves Aaron. You know. Everyone from the people in the back to you know, the dog of the next door, and everyone loves Aaron. Well, I mean, he's definitely a dedicated wrestler. Uh, he, he showed up on the very first show of 2010, and he has been here ever since, and that's close to 80 shows now over the last three and a half years. That's, that's definitely dedication. Um, so, I mean, he's a two-time heavyweight champion, two-time supreme, a hybrid champion, and a... Uh, Two-time wrestler of the year, the only WWE wrestler to ever win it more than once. The reigning champion is Humberto, but he's been nursing that uh, injured knee for quite some time. Uh, we don't know when he will be back, hopefully soon. Um, so it looks like his defensive wrestler of the year is not going to be successful. So we might have a brand new 
wrestler of the year, or possibly Aaron could win it again. Aaron seemed. Aaron might be the only active wrestler on the roster to uh, to to get a chance at that because with Humberto being out and all. Armani had a great match with Humberto last year. Almost beat him for the title a couple of times there. Armani start stocking his prey right now, and he's got he's got Aaron. Maybe German suplex. Gonna help him in the submission. Maybe uh, good reversal by Aaron. Elbow to the much taller Armani. Hammerlock. Hammerlock and maybe a neck breaker. Oh, not pretty, but very effective. Running the ropes. Leg drop. A leg drop with more height. Into a cover. Just the two. It's close. <laughs> Tossing him outside. Gets tangled up in the ropes, but Aaron does what he wants to do. Aaron was in that six pack challenge, too. He definitely took a beating in that match. He got eliminated second, which is rare because he's been in the match. He's been in that match four times. Here we go. Oh! Dived right through the ropes and he got caught with a European uppercut right to the jaw. He may have lost a tooth on that. He's holding his mouth. He definitely got knocked loopy. Knocked the fuck out. Uh, we can go with that too. How bad he got it, I don't know, but he's holding it. He's favoring his jaw. So it clearly worked out. Armani, very uh, resilient there. Bought himself some valuable time. He's like, why? Doesn't look like he's going to use this time though. High risk, high risk. Oh, and, he was super kick, and he got hung up in the ropes. Don't break the ropes. Oh, man. <laughs> that just shows That's me. impressive rope work by Backyard to oh, keep that rope right. held backyard. up. Backyard. Oh. WMWA, these ropes don't run. Uh oh. We, uh -oh. Got, a, we got a TNA match going on. Oh, oh no. Man. And he landed hard on that. He landed oh, very God. hard on that. Yes. That's three what dives in a row. Here? And this very well might top the Supreme Invitation to Finals turn, right here. Some of the fans want to get involved in this dive. And so Aaron looked like he was going to take control and got it turned around with the uppercut. And uh, then Armani uh, got caught in the ropes. And then Aaron finally got the splash he wanted to. Big, big spot, big, uh, big move after big move. Running the ropes. Frog splash. Into a cover. Just two. Aaron setting him up right here. At least we know he's not going to run outside. Not yet. Oh! Famous with a lot of air. But Yo, Aaron is feeling the effects from so those. Pretty. That well, I believe Aaron so calls nice. out the photo bomber. The photo bomber. A Aaron uh, yeah. trying to recoup from uh, those big moves Yo, outside that the was ring so there. Freaking oh. high. I think it took a selfie <laughs> while he did it. <laughs> definitely got some hang time up there, no doubt about it. Aaron Douglas definitely uh, very, got a lot of flashy moves in his uh, repertoire. So does Armani, so you got to look out for those. Armani definitely favors those kicks. Big chop. Doesn't favor that. <laughs> About to whip him off. Is it politically correct nowadays to use the word whip when you're talking about two fine black wrestlers in the ring nowadays? Yes. Okay. Making sure. Big drop kick. Yes. Staggered him. Hanging onto the ropes. Definitely got him right in the chest though. Aaron uh, is down from that though. Oh, when you land on this hard ring, it's uh, you ain't gonna get back up that quickly. Oh, oh damn! damn. <laughs> Reminds me that that CJ kick that he does, but uh, yeah, that was definitely more high impact. No, no offense. Definitely boot up high. He gave him a fucking. Armani's trying to go by the old mantra: "Kick in the head, make you dead." Oh, definitely. Just didn't work that time. That it did not. Kick to the gut. 
Oh! Damn. Close up. Sends him flying. Great reversal of the ace of spades into cover. Close to the rope, but he he got it. Aaron Douglas. Aaron Douglas with a phenomenal win. Good job, Aaron Douglas. What a great opener for the 116 show. Who's the greatest? Aaron Douglas. Yeah. Aaron Douglas is on that road to the ninth anniversary. Yay, Aaron Douglas!